Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the UAF Let's Play uh, Carriers Only. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you gave us on the first and second episodes. It really, really was wonderful to me, all the comments and all the love. So thank you very, very, very much for that. Uh, we're diving back in uh, to this playthrough and I am excited. Why am I excited? Because at the end of the last episode, we made an absolute ton of money from a big, big score over our research station. We picked ourselves up a cruiser during that episode as well, but now we have three quarters of a million credits and, well, we need to spend some of it. And the first thing that I think that I want to do is to go and buy some Choco Lava Cakes. Before we do that, if guys, if you do like this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit that notification bell and check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. I do stream four days a week. Anyway, let us leave the station. Um, we need to go to where, where, wait, where do we buy chocolate lava cakes? That is the question. Is it from, is it from here? It is from here. Ah, yes. Premium choco lava cakes. 158 of them. We'll buy them. Wait. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's let, let's just top up on some, uh, some, some, some bits and pieces here. Um, get ourselves some fuel. Get ourselves some crew. Um, and get ourselves some supplies. Um, before we head out as well. And then we need to go and head to Vermilion Station. And Vermilion Station is over here. Um, oh, that's Favonius. Uh, Vermilion Station is... right here <laughs> we're doing we're getting off to an absolutely great start aren't we an absolutely great start yes um we're heading over to familiar station uh because we need to speak to a wonderful wonderful being so we'll open up the com directory and we will say hello to nia nia is a, a wonderful fantastic uh lady i think i think was that, was that the, is that what I think it is? Oh my, and I stop being so adventurous for you. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that was giving the Choco Lava Cakes over. I believe that was giving the Choco Lava Cakes over. Um, nope. There, there we go. Boom. Wow. Oh, uh, wait. Our relationship improved by 10 from one premium Choco Lava Cake? Wait. Oh, I can't, I can't give her another one. Okay, I can't give her another one. I might have bought a few too many. I have, I have possibly. Oh, wait, no. Oh, right. It would be nice if I can share it with 300 of my staff in the station. Um, I, 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 I see. Um, so I need 300 Choco Lava Cakes. Um, I got. Well, these are premium choco lavas. Did I, did I, did I buy lots of premium choco lavas when actually I was supposed to just buy regular choco lavas? Is this? And this is, this is from what I know, this is part of, um, this is like a quite a unique, uh, UAF mod, uh, function. Um, no, this is pretzels and croissants. This is half dozen donuts, and this is chocolate lava. So I think it, I think it is these ones. Um, I think we just need more. We're just gonna need more. So that's fine. We'll keep these. We'll keep hold of these, and uh, and we will we will pick up more on our next trip back, and hopefully get the three hundred that Nia wants from us. Um, however, let's go speak to Ocean Bradford. Hello, Ocean. How you doing, my love? It is wonderful to see you. And we're going to ask you if you have any work for us. And she has deploying an observation package, and we are not stealthy enough for that at all. The potential ship sale, we don't want to sell any of our carriers because our carriers are precious to us. So let's have a look at the bounty docket. We'll go with whatever you've got works for me to start off with. 
And we've got 16 light years away. I love it when it's nice and close. Mm. Um, 79,000 credits. And the fleet is... Oh, it's just... It's just a pile of frigates. It's just a pile of frigates. We are on our way. Oh, yes, we are. So, let's leave. Let's grab... Go to our important. Go to our bounty. Show it on the map. Set course. Speed up time. Head off. And on our way to our next bounty. Now... You guys have been active in the comment section, and a lot of you have been requesting names. And so, we are going to, uh, while we fly through hyperspace, pick some names for some ships. And we have appeared in the Vecna star system, and we have chosen some names. So, we're going to go ahead into our refit here, and we're going to start with our Waifu's S1, the carrier that came from the most recent episode. And the Waifu's S1 is going to be renamed to the Waifu's Edelweiss. Which, it was a name that really stuck out to me in the comments, and I really liked it. Then our Waifu's X1, our Minoria SP, is going to become the Waifu's Avenger. Which is a very, very serious, very overbearing name. But I like it. I like it. I like it. The Waifus X2, the Minoria M class with a D mod, is going to be called Waifus Redhead. Now we have our Waifus Edelweiss, our Waifus Avenger, and our Waifus Redhead. If you want to have your name, either your username or a name you suggest, on one of the ships, make sure you put it in the comments below. Otherwise, how will I know? However, let us go. We are here. We are in the system. And if we go to the intel, all we know is that they're in this system. So we're going to have a bit of a wander around. And see, oh, there's a minor supply cache. So uh, let's give that a check real quick. Have an explore. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Well... Oh. Join the battle. Yes. Take command of the action. Uh, they have... They're already in combat, and they have only four ships left. Uh, I think we just send the Edelweiss. I think we send just the Edelweiss. And you guys have been giving me some fantastic tips in the comments that I've been super, super appreciative of. Um, one of them uh, is that down here um, in the tab menu, I can order, uh, I can do orders. Or well, I was told that I could do orders specifically for the fighters. Um... Ah, so if I click on an enemy ship, ah, here we go. So I can click on enemy ships, and I can order fighter strikes. I can set as targets. I can order eliminate to order my fleet to launch a dedicated att attack, um, or I can just order an engage. This is excellent news. Um, and then I was told that I can. Um, set my fighters to be into two different modes one is engage and one is um to come back and i'm not quite sure where that option is um so that might be something we need to figure out another time apparently there are two types of orders for fighters you can you can tell them to you can tell them to to engage and then they'll fly out on five targets or you can tell them to stay back and then they'll pr protect the carrier predominantly um but clearly i'll need to do a little bit more hunting for that one um anyway let's fly on into this battle and see what mess we can get up to the enemies are uh, 
little ways out. A little ways out. So we're gonna... Gonna be a moment. We're gonna be a moment. So I can... For instance, just I, I'm I'm just curious here. So, if I say let's take this, uh, yeah, let's take this ship, and let's order a fighter strike, and then we come away. The fighters are staying with the ship. I imagine because they're out of range at the moment, and the ship is heading to to close that range, and then there the fighters go. There the fighters go. So they're going to head to the ship. They're going to launch their missiles. All of them are going to miss. They're going to launch more missiles. Some of them are going to hit. And and target down. Target down. Well, we didn't do a huge amount in that fight. I'm not going to lie. Um, we didn't do much at all. But uh, every little helps. Every little helps. There are still a couple of enemies here. Um... So again, we'll order a fighter strike. Now that does use command points, which is interesting. Good to know that ordering fighter strikes does use command points. Uh, and one of the things I've learned with command points is that you want to do like all of your orders at once. Um, because you can do orders for your entire fleet and it only uses one command point. But if you like pause, order one ship to do something, then unpause, then pause again, order another ship to do something. It uses up two command points and you end up burning through all your command points very, very quickly. Well, we didn't really get to chase them down there, but uh, that is that is okay. We're going to pick through the wreckage here. Um, we're going to grab everything because we can. Uh, and we're going to hunt down our bounty target here. We're going to join the battle. We're going to take command of the action. We're going to, you know what, we'll, 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 send, we'll send the SP in as well. We'll send the SP in as well. Or should I say the Avenger? We should send the Avenger in as well. And if we figure out this is our bounty target, so we're going to order a fighter strike. Interesting. That only that only set the Minoria. Oh, is that because oh, autopilot is on? Interesting that it only sends... Oh, wait. Order your fleet to engage the target and any nearby enemy ships without exposing themselves to undue danger. Oh, is that the engage thing that I was being told about with fighters? Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. Well, we'll see. Anyway, go, go, go. Fighters are all getting launched. We have our forlorn fighters. We have our area superiority fighters. And we have our heavy interceptors. And the target is this man right here. Because he is he is the bounty target. He is who we need to kill to get paid. Oh, come on. Let me see. Uh, nice. Uh, quick march, carriers. Quick march. Fly, you fools. I've got to admit, I have been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying diving in to everything UAF recently. Um, I've been very lucky to, uh, to, to be in communication with the, the mod author, um, Milky Dromeda, and I uh, have got, garnered some very cool insights and cool information. And this is the thing with the camera. It's like, I want to see the fight. I want to see the fight. <laughs> um, but every day, every day, my love for this mod grows. Every day, my love for this mod grows. And uh, I was I was talking about it actually that I think once we finish the carriers only let's play, 
We're probably going to immediately start up another thematic play, uh, let's play. Maybe missiles only, maybe ballistics only. Um, who knows? Who knows? But I am, I am, I am thoroughly committed to playing the uh, just absolutely tons of UAF. I truly am. And there we go. We didn't really get to see much of the combat because it was out of sensor range, which is oh so typical. Um, but we did win. So let's pick through the wreckage. We will take all, but now we're a bit over, so we'll drop the metals back. We'll confirm and continue. And there we go. Bounty's done. Oh! What is going on? What was that? Artillery? Artillery from where? We're, uh, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. We get fired on by artillery. That's crazy. That's got to be one of the industrial, the industrial expansion mod features. Artillery that shoots out into space. I cannot believe it. That's insane. That's amazing. I love it. Uh, oh, we are actually over crew capacity again. Because uh, I have a habit of grabbing uh, everything and then not checking my group capacity. But I am also uh, not the kind of person who throws crew into the void of space. So we will deal with paying the extra supplies once again until we get back and we can drop the crew off at the station. All right, we're back in the Owie system. Um, and nobody in the comments com c corrected me about my pronunciation of Owie. So I'm going to assume that my pronunciation of Aoi is correct. Um, and I'm going to continue calling it Aoi. Uh, but, oh, we are engaged in the Aoi system by a pirate Corsair. Let's move into engage. Deploy all. Autopilot on forwards. My beautiful carriers. With your beautiful ships. The Edelweiss, the Avenger, and the Redhead. Into battle they go. Their fighters immediately opening up huge alpha strikes. Two ships down, straight off of the bat. Massive alphas. You love to see it. There's three. Now the, uh, this combat freighter here does have some point defense shooting down some of the missiles but there goes the mud skipper it is now just the combat freighter is all that is left and that combat freighter is going to die soon yes hello there we go the mule that's the one the mule the mule is down uh, and that was a very, very swift victory. Uh, we're not going to bother with ship recovery. We are going to pick through the wreckage. Um, and a broadsword LPC. Hey, it's money. It's money. We don't complain about money over here. We don't complain about money over here. We're going to resume our course. And we're going to get ourselves back over to New Auroria. I have leveled up. How exciting. And level three is always a huge, huge, huge level, in my opinion, uh, in UAF as a somewhat new player, um, because it allows me to get makeshift equipment. And reducing the monthly supply con consumption um, is just huge. Just huge. Um, absolutely, absolutely mega. Absolutely mega. Do we, do we have any officer candidates? No. No. Oh, let's develop our contact with Nia. I didn't see this was an option, but I would love to work with Nia. I would love to work with Nia. Let's repair our ships. 
I love this music. Let's uh, go and uh, sell some bits first. Let's sell this and this and those and that and that and that and that. And that. Just, 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 yeah, sell it all. Sell it all. Sell it all. Um, then we are going to top up on fuel. Uh, we're going to hand off those four crew members that were over our limit. And then we're going to top up on supplies. Like, so now there is enough premium truck. <laughs> that, that sound. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Milky drama there. I know you're going to be watching this. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, we're going to go over. We're going to go massively over. Um, our, uh, our storage here for a moment. Just quickly so that we can sc scoot, scooty scoot over to Vermilion Station. Um, spending a ridiculous amount of supplies a day. An extra 15 per day just to carry, just to carry these choco lava cakes across the Vermilion Station. But don't worry, Nia. Don't worry, Nia. I've got your, I've got your snacks. I have a snack package for you. Oh, wow. You really get so many choco lava. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. She seems to be taken by surprise seeing you bringing a bunch of choco lava to her before smiling happily. Oh, right. I'll share these around to my staff. Thank you for your donation. They will surely love this. I am sure they will. Thank you so much, Nia, for giving me the opportunity to give you gifts. Um, wait, no. Uh, what do I want to... Um, our reputation is now 25, which is great. Inquire into the competition issue. Um, oh, economic competitors never seen a mission like this the target is the Dasso mikoyan mining on lariol 18 light years away we've been allocated a sum of 120,000 credits should it be disrupted for at least 90 days oh 700 marines we're not we're not in a position to do that right yet we are not in a position to do that quite yet though soon soon uh not right now a uh, special pirate fleet bounty though hey 35 light years away. The base rate is 1100 credits per frigate destroyed or disabled in an increasing scale for larger hulls. So this is like a system bounty. But for pirates. Interesting. I don't think we're going to do that right now. But thank you for the offer. And we don't want to sell a ship to you. We don't want to sell it. We don't want to we don't want to sell a ship to you. Um ask about UAF access. Request the access of... Wait. What? You have proven to be useful and loyal, at least from my observation. All right, I'll grant it. You now have the clearance to the Stiana system. Please don't misuse our trust. You have received notification from a Vermilion Station administrator near Aurora. I have talked to Inari about... Oh, don't, don't go away. Oh, no. Um, Can I pull that back up? Um... Well, well, that was unfortunate. Um, so I'm not quite sure what we got, but I'm we'll we'll, we'll go over to the, we'll, we'll go over to the Stiana system and we will find out. Uh, sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Uh, we'll head over to the Stiana system. And find out quite what's going on. Was it in the intel? Was it maybe in the... Oh, it is in the intel. I have talked to Alexandria about your performance. You can see her in the new refinery plant. Do your best and don't disappoint her. I'll do my best. Along with the received message, the coordinate for the person she's talking about. Okay. I talked to Anari about your performance. You might want to see her in Stiana. She's the one in command of the star system. Along with the received message in the core. Okay, cool. That is a striking portrait in Ari. You look gorgeous. Oh, this is... Um, 
No. No. Come. South. That's it. There we go. Bit of an emergency burn, but it got us out. It got us out. Uh, that was uh, one of those slipstreams that gets created by something. Um, and it disappears soon after. Alright. Anyway, we are in the Hem Fayette, or the, the Stiana system. We are at Hem Fayette Station. Uh, we're going to repair our ships. We're going to go and check out um, here. We're going <clears> to <throat> drop the... Please. We're going to drop off the last of those chocolate lava cakes because I do not believe we need them for the time being. Um, we will drop up some fuel. We will grab some more supplies. Wonderful. Uh, apparently, they do have fleet military here, so we are just going to check real quick because, you know, maybe... They have something like an Exoria M. Or, or, or even, even, even more. They have an Isonoria. So this is a prototype battle carrier. We can use it because it is a carrier. However, it does only have two fighter base. Oh, wait, it has two fighter base and a Raffleshia strategic bomber wing. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to discover what this built-in strategic bomber wing is. Bye. There goes all of our money. <laughs> there goes all of our money. But we have a new waifu. We have a new waifu. The, the waifu's Z1 for now. Uh, is now a member of our... Oh, so, wait, it comes with a strategic bomber automatically as one of its two fighter base. I thought it was two fighter base and the strategic bomber. I see. But an extremely large, super heavy bomber. It was developed alongside the prototype battle carrier as a complementary part of the orbital strike doctrine, which favors deep strike against ground forces from orbit. Although it's capable of carrying more than just a couple of oversized bombs, a standard loadout for four Moab... Moabs? Moabs? <laughs> Deemed to be suitable enough to deliver judgment to the enemy. No, really? N nah, I couldn't couldn't have guessed. I could, I could. <laughs> Standard load, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Despite its excellent ground support capability and high survivability, the super heavy spacecraft was simply too big and overpriced for a niche role. Hence, it was cancelled along with the mothership that hosted it. Wait, so the Isonoria was cancelled? Aww. But we have one anyway, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> so these are... There's a single bomber with a maximum engage rate of 7,500. Wow. A top speed of only 110. Amazing. I love this. Uh, 9,999 seconds of, of, uh, of replacement time. So you only get one per fight. Yeah, you only get one. Um, has 2,250 hull, though. 1,150 armor. Um, it has more armor than the Isonoria itself. <laughs> 40 crew per fighter. I mean, that that's a... That's a very big ship. Uh, it has point defense drones. It has two AWP class 1s. I'm not entirely sure what AWPs are. Uh, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Uh, then it has some point defense machine guns. And some micro flaks as well. Um, and I feel like the best thing to um to 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 cuddle up to a to a fighter like this and to support a fighter like this is the hmm is it a penguas or is it neck and yan swipe strike ring the neck and yan strike wing gives you three fighters the penguas only gives you one but the neck and yan is an attacker whereas penguas is an air defense um, and the first of the upcoming, gen upcoming generation of gun ships, she is armed with a set of defensive weaponry, which is very potent against missiles and spacecraft. Her main role is to provide anti-air support to any wings or ships that she was attached to. Yeah, I mean, this sounds perfect to go, uh, to, to be attached to a, to a strategic bomber, does it not? In my mind, this sounds like a perfect, perfect combo. 
Uh, the penguin seems like a perfect combo for the raffle. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna run with that. We're gonna run with that. Now, now we still have 300 ordnance points left because of course it is a battle carrier. Um and we're on episode three and we've already picked up a battleship, so you know, ah. <laughs> promise I'm not cheating. I promise. Um But uh we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um see. So so this is also a Royal November grade uh, ship, uh, which means that it has uh, increased flux capacity and increased ship armor, which is lovely. Which is lovely. Uh, now we've got a lot of uh, we got a lot of points to spend here. So hardened subsystems, hundred percent going in. Um, we're going to go with a we're going to go with a PDR committer because why not? I know it's Volkov and it's not. UAF, but uh, uh, maybe we can't use that because it's Volkov. We're trying to do a UAF themed using only UAF stuff, so I think yeah, we don't. We, no, we don't use the PDR committer. We'll go reinforce bulkheads. We'll go blast doors. We've got so many points to spend. <laughs> um, uh, we will go ahead. We need to unlock some new mods. Uh, specifically, hardened shields is something is a mod that I'm definitely looking for. Hardened Shields is definitely a mod that I'm looking for. Uh, I also want to get the I want to get the Armor Armature um, Wincom mod um, because I think the the Wincom mod is is so fantastic, especially with UAF carriers. Um, let's just go ahead and just max out the vents here. I don't know how far these go. All the way to 50. Um, giving us 1,650 flux dissipation and 26,740 flux capacity. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then we can fill out all of these things. However, filling them out is going to be interesting because it... Well, it, it is all just point defense. <laughs> it is it is all just just point defense uh do we have anti-fighter anti-fighter missiles we don't have any anti-fighter missiles so we have to leave them empty for the time being um oh they have the large hybrid turrets as well and i would just love I would love to slap some big rail guns on this. I really would. I would love to slap some big rail guns on this. But that's against the rules. And a large universe. Oh, we could go for a semi brev launcher. Oh, I want it so badly. I want it so badly. No, nope, no, nope, Tim. You can't. You can't have it. Uh not not today. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not today. You cannot have the semi-rev launcher because you are doing a carrier's point defense only run at the moment. Um, get back in your lane. Start behaving. Um. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab some light scalp with flak drivers here. And uh, oh, we have some small composites here. Mini Brev launches as well. Oh, I want them so badly. <gasps> I want them so badly. <laughs> I will run some flare launcher pods, though. Um, we will run some flare launcher pods. And then that is all we can do. We have to leave the large hard points empty at the time for the time being. Um, the top speed, <laughs> Ooh, the, 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 the top speed is pretty, pretty low. There's nothing we can do at the moment in terms of modding to, uh, to give it, um, some, we can, we can give it unstable injector, but I don't want to increase its fighter replacement time by 25%. Although arguably I could, because it's fighters aren't going to get replaced anyway. And give us an extra 15 speed. Uh, we actually don't have the get rid of bulk doors. Um, 
And that would give it, that would give it 52 speed. Uh, that makes me feel a bit more comfortable because 38 speed is too slow. It's too slow. So we're going to go for that. And then um, we can slot in one last thing. Um, I think we're going to go for armored weapon mounts. And to do that, we're just going to need to reduce our vents by three. And there we go. We have our wonderful uh, Waifu's Z1. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the heavy strategic bomber in play. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. Guys, if you do have a name for this ship, you would like to name the Waifu's Z1, the Isonoria P class, then please put it in the comments below. And, uh, and I will pick the best one um when i when i next catch up episodes wise for now we're gonna go ahead and move the the z1 up and we're gonna go ahead and move henry lynch um into oh wait no we have two when did we oh i don't remember this i don't remember this but we <laughs> we have two officers that are both level five and i kind of think i remember picking them up from like cryo right was that right? I picked them up from Cryo, I believe. I think I picked them up from Cryo. But for now, that'll do. Um, I still want to I want to pilot the Edelweiss myself because I think that the Z1 uh, is cool, but it is also, because I can only make use of its fighters and I can't make use of its large points and stuff, it is almost slightly gimmicky in the fleet. Um, so I want to, I want to still um, go ahead and, and pilot the full blown like dedicated carrier carrier um but that's really cool that's really cool now we are down to 150,000 credits and 150,000 credits is a little bit low um but what are we you know what we went and we never went and spoke to anari we never spoke to anari anari hello my love you begin to make your approach towards an opulent white building with an exterior silver lettered sign that reads Stiana's House of Nobles, home to house Lafayette Genetics. You show your official invitation paperwork to a group of UAF soldiers guarding the door who analyze your credentials thoroughly before they nod and allow you passage while giving directions to access the main director's office. Passing the main lobby and through a clean white hallway, what you do notice apart from the occasional noble representation is a number of scientists walking by you. Some of them have animalistic features, like the ears of a dog or tails like a cat. Finally, until finally, you make it to the office of the current ruling noble of the station. What sits behind that futuristic desk was a woman with hair that was lush, sunrise gold hair, an elegant face that gives off a tender smile, a fit, well-formed figure with a close-fitting uniform that appears to be custom-made compared to the standard uniforms you've seen so far, and a personality radiates with ladylike temperament. You get a good look at her features, and what was more baffling was that this woman sits before you has both large pointed ears and a very soft, fluffy, well-groomed tail. Swings left and right casually like a fox, similar to her hair color. She suddenly clears her throat and sits straight to address you. Welcome, Carrier Timo. I have heard of a freelance captain rising in popularity within the UAF. My files describe you to be steadfast and courageous at your best when the situation demands it with a more loose connection with the other factions truly a free spirit compared to the other ruling factions of the universe she smiles cordially as she nods nia was right about you being a captain of potential and respectable qualities and i sure hope such talents could aid not only her majesty but myself included she suddenly bursts into a hearty laugh as she realized she forgot some more important details to tell you oh Forgive me, where are my manners? My name is Inari Masoko Lafayette, the current leading administrator in the main ruling house of the Stiana sector. You have not been brought up to speed, Captain. This is the Hem Fayette Station. We are the main providers of fuel for the Federation, but this station also serves as a main military garrison for the current solar system. And to most of my staff and the people under my governance, it is our home away from home. She steps aside and gestures towards the window and the view behind her. 
From where you are, you see a stunning panoramic view of the city within Hemfayet from a clean, modern suburb filled with lush and verdant plants that naturally grow on New Auroria to an extensive city centre filled with faint lights and a colourful holographic billboard of Aurorian advertisements. Your observant eyes also notice that they have agricultural farms hidden within biodomes and a large mountain range in the distance as if they are trying to copy a part of the New Aurorian's landscape in detail. The immersion was broken as soon as Inari tapped your shoulder and gives you a light-hearted smile before turning her attention to the city behind the window. It took us years to elevate this station to the paradise we live in now, and the Queen has chosen my family to be the governors who guide these people like the northern star in the night sky. This responsibility now rests upon my shoulders, and I shall be certain that my people's lives here are comfortable ones. After sharing her perception on the matter, she turns to you and gives a small chuckle. My apologies, Captain. I will say, I do envy your freedom to choose for yourself out there, venturing among the stars. She quickly tidies up her uniform before sitting back down. Now let us discuss more pressing matters. Ah, that was nice. I like that. Let's spark a conversation. What's your favorite snack, Inari? She ponders at the thought. Favorite snacks, you say? She presses her finger on her lips, pondering at the thought. Usually, I enjoy more refined things like Blue Lobster Thermidor, or any imported luxury goods that traders normally bring to the station. But if you ask what is my favorite little part-time treat, it's chocolate. She chuckles as she places her hands down to her lap. Usually, it's the divine aromatic taste of chocolate from my home planet which sets my heart adrift. From the November city's famous mockers to the filled chocolates of the Casavenka. She lifts up her finger to her chin and clears her throat, looking at you with inquisitiveness. Why do you ask, Captain? I'd like 350 of pretzels and croissant bundle to share with the members of my administrative offices as well. I see. Wonderful. Progress is being made. Progress is being made. And that, my friends, is going to be the end of episode three. There was a lot of discussing and talking and, and building and not a huge amount of action in that one, but I do hope you enjoyed and Thank you so very much for being here right at the very end. If you haven't hit that like button already, please do. Consider subscribing and check me out on Twitch in the description below. But otherwise, stay safe in the stars and I'll see you next episode.